I can understand English, but I am unable to speak in English. If this is you, then watch this video. Because in this video, I have some very important tips for you to follow to overcome this fear. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that it's very common and completely normal. Many people go through this stage in their learning journey and you are not alone. But the good news is that there are steps that you can take to come out of this problem. Now, many people, when they are working on language learning, they focus more on input, that is reading and listening. But when it comes to output, that is speaking and writing, they struggle. After teaching students who are struggling to speak in English, I have gathered a few tips that you can follow to improve your speaking. Now, the first tip is to believe in yourself. Self-doubt can be detrimental. So don't panic if you can't communicate effectively yet. Take small baby steps. It can be speaking about your favorite game or learning new vocabulary and then actually using it. So trust yourself that you can do it and you are halfway there already. Now, the tip number two is, and it's very important, that you practice every day. A very big favor that you can give yourself is that you practice every day. Actively engage in speaking and writing. It will be of no use if you read and you listen to audios and watch videos in English. You absorb all the grammar rules and vocabulary. But when it comes to speaking and uh, writing, you're not using what you have learned. So put effort into output. Create opportunities for yourself to speak. Don't have anyone to speak to. No problem. Speak to yourself. Record yourself maybe on your mobile phone when you are speaking in English and later on listen to that recording and try to find your mistakes and then correct them. Tip number three. If you're scared of making mistakes, then please don't be. Embrace your mistakes. It's natural to make mistakes when you're learning a new language. Like if I am learning a new language, I'll make hundreds of mistakes for sure. But then it's down to me. If I'm going to stop speaking that language just because I'm making mistakes or I accept my mistakes and learn from them. Now you have to choose which one you are. Are you the quitter or are you the learner? Because remember, winners never quit. So stop hating yourself for your mistakes and rather embrace them. Tip number four. Focus on speaking and your fluency. Don't worry too much about accuracy. Accuracy can wait and it can come and will come with time. But if you hold yourself back from speaking just because you want each and every sentence of yours to be grammatically accurate, then you are wasting precious time. So speak, practice, make mistakes and correct them along the way. Tip number five is also very, very important. It is to create a routine for yourself. Give yourself some time every day where you practice speaking and you will do a huge favor to yourself if you stick to this routine. So learn new vocabulary and look for opportunities to use that newly learned vocabulary. If you don't use what you have learned, you will forget it in a matter of days and it is scientifically proven. So use the words and the phrases that you have learned. So, remember, practicing speaking English is the only way that can make you fluent and confident. So, start from today because it's never too late. Good luck!